Magandang araw sa lahat The Fraternal Order of Eagles Limbas Low Corner is back uh, To render Service In the field of law For us Filipinos Our topic is about uh, Trespass to dwelling Which is of course a crime Defined and penalized under the civil, the revised penal code. Uh, kadalasan maririnig natin, oh, trespassing yan, trespassing yan. That is uh, the common version we can hear among us Filipinos. Okay, uh, this, uh, our group, uh, the Limbas Eagles Club, received uh, a message on this. Uh, of course, uh, regarding the alleged uh, trespassing on the house she she was renting pumasok daw andun yung miare ng ng bahay where she was renting okay now the issue is me the owner of the house the leaser be held uh, criminally answerable for the crime of trespass to dwelling under the revised penal code kasi ang common uh, issue eh may-ari yan hindi pwede maging, mag maging liable dyan walang krimen na nalabag well first how is the crime of trespass to dwelling committed well if uh, a person enters the dwelling house of another without uh, the consent and against the will of the dweller that is trespass to to dwelling. Eh, pero paano ngayon sa sa, sa case nito? Eh yung may-ari yung pumasok. Even if it was the owner of the house who enters the dwelling of the complainant, the owner can be held criminally liable. Uh, provided that uh, the act of entering the dwelling is against the will without the consent of the dweller. Pag sinabing dwelling house, eh, not, it is not necessarily that the complainant is the owner. The law here, the, the law here in, in, under the revised penal code protects the privacy of the dwelling, of the dweller. Pinoproteksyonan yung privacy. And that is why once pumasok yung tao against the will or without the consent of the dweller, kahit ikaw pa yung may-ari, you could be held criminally liable for trespass to trespass to to dwelling. So maliwanag to uh, na kahit sinong tao pumasok sa dwelling house of the complainant without the consent or against the will of uh, the occupant the crime of trespass to dwelling is committed. Eh, dapat naman walang pahintulot kasi kung mayroong pahintulot eh walang Time. Eh kung sina, ay alika, pasok ka, pasok ka. Ay wala yun. Pero walang pahintulot. Like for instance, sarado naman yung yung pinto. O kaya halimbawa, kumatok. Tapos pagkatok, ay, ay, ay sandali lang po. Sinara yung pinto, sinara. Abay, sinara ang pinto. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka pwedeng pumasok. E pumasok. Ah, is the crime committed of trespass to dwelling? The answer is yes. The crime of trespass to dwelling. And I repeat, even if it was the owner of the house, the house, the leaser who enters the dwelling against the will without the consent of the dweller, eh kahit lisi lang yan ang auupahan, the crime of trespass to dwelling is committed. Okay, so this is another uh, program, another public service of uh, the Fraternal Order of Eagles. Dito sa uh, YouTube channel, the Fraternal Order of Eagles, uh, Low Corner Brought to you by the different uh, Limbas Eagles Club In Antipolo City Province of uh, Rizal Okay, kung interesado kayong You join uh, us The Fraternal Order of Eagles uh, Pwede ka namang mag-inquire Mag-file ka ng petition Sa mga different clubs all over the country Sa Antipolo City naman Marami din clubs And if you are interested with us uh, You can join any of uh, the Limbas Eagles Club in Antipolo City at uh, kung malaman namin na uh, you are qualified naman talaga you are willing to serve the community then you might be or you may be 
accepted. Alright, so maraming salamat sa pagsuporta sa channel na to. Ito'y walang uh, hangarin kung hindi makapaglingkod lang sa sambayanang Pilipino. Maraming salamat.